When I did the last, the previous video on Dr. Disrespect, there are some comments. Hey, move on. Fake news. This, that. Why are you still spreading this and that? Bro, why would I spread fake news? I hate liars, man. Pathological liars. Yeah, I hate liars. Because some lies actually destroys people. Okay, I've seen that. Destroy the life savings, mentally, physically. Hence, I hate liars. And I do my best to avoid, you know, I do my research and I present it to you, right? And also, it's just opinion. Some of them are opinion and then you can see what others are saying. And based on that, we just draw a conclusion, right? What are facts? I mean, come on, man. Anyways, check this out. I gave you what I could in the last one. This is probably my second Dr. Disrespect video because it just came out. Dr. Disrespect's Midnight Society ban. Dr. Disrespect, a prominent streamer and co-founder of Midnight Society. He's a co-founder of Midnight Society. Has been terminated from his own game studio following allegations of inappropriate con contact with a minor. This action was taken after Midnight Society investigated the allegations which reportedly led to his permanent ban from Twitch in 2022, okay? Despite the allegations, Dr. Disrespect has not publicly denied the accusations leading to speculation and discussions among fans and the gaming community. This is exactly what I mentioned in the previous one. I'm like, he, literally he said blah, 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 but he doesn't deny the accusation, right? He didn't. So uh, most of the other dudes are calling him out for, yeah, he never denied it. So probably happened. Now, this is exactly what it is, okay? And I'm not saying Dexterdo and all these media, are there, they're right. They're always going to be, you know, what do you call it? Chasing clout, attention. That's totally fine. I get it. But let's research, okay? And look at this here. Midnight Society is right here, okay? AAA Game Studio. I'm just looking at this first time. I had no idea Dr. Disrespect was a co-founder and all this. But you can see Dr. Disrespect's um, name, the ID right here. Triple A Game Studio. Dr. Disrespect, we have 402. Another streamer, huge. Studio head, he's a studio head. And you have creative director, okay? This guy, you have Shugupta, what? Shumit, Shugupta, okay. Hey, Bengali, Gupta, Make makers of in development game, Dead Drop. So these are all the players, and they literally announced this, okay? Check this out, eight hours ago. On Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against, our, against one of our co founders, Guy Pim, aka Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. See that? He, we assumed. Now I'm just taking it the way it is. This has 5.1 million views just eight hours ago posted, right? And literally, we are like, oh, allegations, okay? We assumed his innocence, but they investigated. According to them, they said they investigated and they began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy PM immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players. 55. Okay. This replies, let me break the tweet down for y'all. We thought he was innocent. Then we started talking to the people involved. Now we don't think he's innocent. It's that simple. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny too, right? Const I don't know the drama. Like I said, I don't know what to believe. I'm just presenting it to you. I'm not saying he's guilty or not. It's just like literally he's saying, he never said, I didn't do it or any of that. He should, I, I don't know why he's maybe choosing his words carefully. Maybe his lawyer said something alleged. I don't know. Okay. And this game is off your dead before it even came out. So it looks like these are, these are all Dr. Disrespect's fan. Huge fan. Evidence. Without share of evidence presented to the public, this is a wild move. Now, a lot of, um, what do you call, assumptions. I mean, you could draw a lot of assumptions from this, right? Some of them. Oh, maybe his competition, competitors actually all got together, acted upon against them. Maybe. But again, I mean, you know, there's so many possibilities, but he never denied. Anyways, ladies and gents, I want to just read some of the comments here. With no actual evidence being provided and no one willing to present actual and but who are the people he talked to? That's another thing. I mean, they said there's no midnight society without Doc. Wow, I mean, he has a huge fall, you know. Yeah, I mean, 2.5 million versus so many others. The game is now dead in the water. Do you plan on announcing anything in regards to the future of Dead Drop? This is going to ruin the tour. 
where's the proof this they're huge followings man i mean these are they all actually support dr disrespect my only point is let me actually go back to the initial year okay again this jake lucky guy <laughs> Oh lord. Okay, so he's Dr. Dispel Gaming Studio Midnight has terminated the relationship. I want to see some of this here. Comments. They're talking like they got confirmation of the allegations. Protect the children. Nick Burks. Face Clan. What? I still remember Face Clan at once. Allegedly, they promoted some of the crypto scamsies. Anyway, sad story. Crazy how someone in, is guilty without any release evidence. Yeah, I mean, there's. I don't see the evidence, you know? That's true. But at the same time, this guy said, you know what, after investigating, so what kind of investigating and investigation did they do? And on top of that, they said, they spoke to the individual, okay, see, individuals, right? You see here, like they spoke to the people and after that they found out, okay, so who did they speak to? I'm just curious too. I'm just feeling burned out. Dr. Disrespect says he will be taking an indefinite, definite break from streaming. You know? When shit like this happens over the weekend and... Am I gonna play this or am I gonna get copyright strike? Like, I'm, t I'm, I'm actually tired of being on social media. And I've, and I've expressed that over the years, champs. I just, you know... I've always kind of hinted like it'd be nice to get off and just completely separate, right? Go live in Costa Rica or something. <sighs> By the way, is this playing Elden Ring? Hey, man. Honestly, I don't want to see anybody go down, to be honest. Like, you know, I just see, I remember him from one clip where he was just jumping like this monkey or something. It went viral a bit. I never actually barely watched his gameplays and stuff. I'm, I'm a very mini-me gamer myself. But again, I'm not here to, you know, throw dirt on people. I don't want anybody to go down or fall, whatever. But if he has done something like that, so-called allegations, if it's real, then that's disgusting, all right? He could have, I mean, Twitch wouldn't really permanently ban you. I mean, I see a lot of bans. You know, it's, it's crazy. If you uh, watch some of my previous videos, some uh, streamers, doing crazy outlandish stuff nudity i still got like you know what was that there wasn't they were not permanently banned they still came back so you have to do something insane like break the rule yeah the minor thing is huge on twitch not only on twitch the minor thing is huge on the internet man <sighs> even on youtube it's a tiny bit of minor stuff take it, it, it can take taken down real quick so, I'll, you know, that's what I'm saying. He's not denying the allegations and stuff. So anyway, maybe he did on that video, seven minutes long. But regardless, ladies and gents, I just wanted to present this to you, okay? Not like literally saying, oh, you know, this is bad. He sucks and this. I really don't know the person to that level. And lately, like I've been seeing a lot of uh, the streamers are getting into all this crazy stuff. I mean, all the most controversial stuff are either on kick or Twitch, you know, to some extent. The streamers, basically. Kick is on next level, man. Kick. I got on Kick. It was easy to get subscribers, uh, followers, because it just knew. But at the same time, the audience. Oh man, it's crazy, crazy. <laughs> Anyways, Doctor Disrespect gets a message during stream today, causing his mood to immediately shift. This came before announcing he would be taking a break, and the 12 a.m. was parting ways. Feels very similar to the moment four years ago. Yeah, like four years ago, he was dropped out of Twitch, right? I actually didn't know that he was permanently banned. I've been seeing him stream, so I'm like, okay, is he on kick then? You, you know how we run things here. Oh, whoa, he's playing this game. What game is this, bro? This is a little... No, this is the other one. Wait, I'm not seeing him say anything. Oh, whoa. Andrew. Yeah, Elden. Nice. The very game studio founded and investigated the allegations. See, okay, look at this here. The very game studio Dr. Disrespect founded investigated the allegations against him and has subsequently terminated the relationship with him. That's all. I'll, I'll just leave it to that, okay? I can drag this video more than 10, 20 minutes, no point. Because if I get on the comments, it'll be just brutal everywhere. 
So all I can do right now is again, I wanted to just make this make sure that they use the right term. And it literally says they investigated the allegations. Now the question is, what kind of investigation was it? All right. And what kind of uh, uh, people or victim they talked to to come to this conclusion that he's the, you know, yeah, he did what he did, basically. So anyways, ladies and gents, that's your Dr. Disrespect. No disrespect. I, I'm out.